Have you ever looked at a butterfly searching for a flower to feed on? Did you know that butterflies and moths can taste with their mouth parts, antennae, feet, wings and ovipositors? This is because they have a highly complex and specialized chemosensory machinery called the gustatory system. The gustatory system is made up of taste bud-like structures called gustatory sensilla, also called taste sensilla, which can detect a wide range of chemicals. Gustatory sensilla are distributed in the mouthparts, antennae, feet, wings, and ovipositors of butterflies and moths. Inside the sensilla are receptors that produce a taste perception. How important is it? Helps to select nutritious food and avoid poisonous and harmful substances. For example, butterflies and moths can discriminate between bitter, sweet, salty, or sour foods by just coming into contact with them. They can also estimate the age of a flower and the amount of nectar it contains by using gustatory sensilla receptors to detect the amount of CO2 produced by the flower. Fresh flowers produce more nectar and CO2 than old flowers. Furthermore, female butterflies and moths can choose mates using gustatory sensilla receptors in their legs and wings. Similarly, by using gustatory sensilla receptors in their ovipositors, female butterflies and moths can locate an appropriate place for laying eggs. But do gustatory sensilla receptors have any practical application in our everyday lives? By applying our understanding of the insect gustatory system, we can modify the feeding behavior of these animals. We can contribute to agriculture, horticulture, and safety in the manufacture of insecticides and repellents to control this knowledge is also crucial for the conservation of insects because of the increase in CO2 because of climate change. Next time you see butterflies and moths on flowers, remember that they use their mouth parts, antennae, feet, wings, and ovipositors for tasting food, choosing a mate, and deciding on the right location to lay eggs.